Hi, I'm Malcolm. And I'm Rachel. We're two Canadians living on our 39-foot main ship trawler, living an adventure of a lifetime. We invite you to follow along as we travel 6,000 miles through Canadian and U.S. waterways around America's Great Loop. Good morning. We are at Les Clouses Carillon, as they say in French. That's the Carillon Lock. Uh, which is basically on the Ottawa River. And we stayed here one night to avoid some thunderstorms that were coming through yesterday. And it turned out they didn't really come through till in the evening. Uh, we had about three storms pass through. The first one, we were not really in it, but we could certainly hear the thunder. And then we had some more after that. Um, but it was good to be tied up down here at the top of the lock. It's much more exposed to the wind and I guess the thunder and lightning. So it was good to be tied up down here. Um, this lock is a guillotine style lock and it's one of the biggest on the system in the Parks Canada locks. This one will go up 65 feet, exactly the same lift as the Peterborough lift lock, but this one will lift us up uh, in a different fashion. So I'll show you that as we go through. Um, we're looking forward to trying that. You can see behind me it's actually raining um, and we did get quite a bit of rain overnight, which is great for the forest fires that are in the area. We had a lot of smoke yesterday from northern the fires in northern Quebec, and I hope this rain is helping to put out some of the fires. So today we're gonna head through the lock, continue along the Ottawa River going west, closer to Ottawa, about a two hour boat journey away from Ottawa. We're gonna stop at an anchorage behind an island, and we'll show you that as we go. Hope you're having a great day. Carillon Lock. They just asked us to wait uh, while they clean some debris at the front of the lock, so I guess we don't hit that when we come out. I think <laughs> so, and uh, it'll only be, I, I'm sure, a short delay. We're um, looking to rise 65 feet, mm -hmm. which is uh, one what, of the biggest on the system. One of the biggest, and it's it's tall. Like You really feel as though you're down in here. Yeah, we're on the flybridge and we still feel short. <laughs> and it's one of the few, if not the only, certainly on the Canadian side, that's a guillotine lock. Mm -hmm. So it uh, slides up and down the back us as we're going yeah. upstream and, then and the, uh, the front and is normal I think the front just swings open but yeah, uh, yeah it's a impressive piece of engineering yeah it is and we're right here with two other boats one's a much smaller boat than us in front of us our buddy boat and then one just arrived another Quebecer and we could hear them on the radio calling in French to the lock so we waited for them to arrive which was only a few minutes now we're just waiting for them to clean the wood and logs and things at the front of the lock yeah I'm glad they're doing that actually Me too. <laughs> and then we'll be going up very soon yeah
that we're through the Carillon Lock, we're in the part of the Ottawa River where Ontario is on the left on the port side and Quebec is on the starboard or the right side. So this river is the border between Ontario and Quebec at this point. Malcolm just tells me that we hit a depth of 212 feet right here in the river. So today it's not particularly warm. I think it's about a high of 17 or 18 degrees Celsius. So we have a couple of layers on and uh, there's a bit of wind kind of from the northwest and it's still driving some of the smoke to this area. The rain I think has helped a little bit, but I don't think we're out of the woods yet as we, so to speak for the smoke in the, in the atmosphere. So um, we certainly did notice it a lot yesterday. Today it seems a bit better. I think there's also some cloud cover, of course, with the rain, so it's hard to tell. Um, it's a bit hazy still, and you can probably see that on the images. Um, and I think it's going to get worse before it gets better. So I think it's going to be better maybe next week. So for a few days, we're going to be dealing with the smoke. And it's not great to be breathing it. I mean, of course, on a boat, you're pretty much living outside all the time. So uh, anyway, hopefully it gets better soon. Not much we can do about it except to uh, stay indoors as much as possible. It's nice out here though today, even though it's a bit cooler. Just getting a few spots of rain right now, um, but it's not pouring, so it's not terrible.
Montebello is a small village along the Ottawa River in western Quebec. Named by Louis-Joseph Papineau and officially founded in 1878, it sits within the Outaouais region and has just over a thousand residents. The village offers a microbrewery, restaurants, and access to nearby attractions like Park Omega, a car safari to see numerous wild animals, as well as the nearby luxurious Fairmont Le Chateau Montebello. Le Chateau Montebello is the world's largest log cabin offering a truly unique Canadian experience. It combines rustic charm with luxurious comfort. Its two restaurants offer exquisite menus with regional products. There are many summer activities including swimming in the indoor pool, hiking, cycling, golf and boating. And in the winter months there is cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, skating, curling and even dog sledding. Afterwards you can sit around the huge inviting hearth to warm your feet by the fire. Good afternoon, this is a report from the bridge. Today we're traveling down up the Ottawa River. We uh, left um, a lock, which is called the Carillon Lock, and uh, it took us almost, I'm going to say two hours to get through that lock for a bunch of reasons, but made it through, and now we're traversing uh, up the river. We've got some current, but not hardly any, to be honest, and compared to the St. Lawrence, none. So we're doing well. Um, we are basically running at our regular speed around 1800. We're sitting there at around 7.6 knots. Um, we will probably be getting in in about an hour. Um, and overall, I think it'll take us about six hours to get in. So that's not too bad today. The next day, we'll be making a quick trip to the bottom of the Ottawa locks. So we'll be in the city of Ottawa and there's a flight of eight locks at the bottom. You've got to go up those. It can take a few hours to do it, and we want to be really the first ones in to, to, to get on that lock wall. So at the moment, it's overcast. Um, there's a bit of blue sky now that I look over to my right. Um, there's been a lot of smoke happening over the last couple of days, and I'm sure many of you have heard of all the fires that are happening in northern Quebec and Ontario. Um, it's even sending some of that smoke down to the U.S. So we're hoping that that rectifies itself soon, they get some rain, and we can clear these skies up. Um, other than that, um, we're expecting to have a pretty uneventful night. The, weather, the wind is out of the north, and the anchorage we've chosen will give us some good north protection. So um, we're forecasting for ourselves a nice calm night in a calm river. And that is a report from the bridge.
we've reached our destination. We are in a bay beside Clarence Island on the Ottawa River um, at an anchorage and it gives us some protection from the north wind that you can see we're having right now. It's not too bad and it will subside tonight. Uh, but I'm on the flybridge so it does feel a lot windier up here. Um, so we're settled in for the night and uh, today we traveled 39 nautical miles in about six and a half hours and an hour and a half of that was at the beginning of our trip in the Carillon Lock. So they raised that huge guillotine door and two boats entered and then we waited for a third vessel to arrive. After they closed the door they raised us 65 feet and before they opened the door on the other side they held us back for about half an hour while they cleaned up some debris in front of the doors and we're glad they did that. We didn't want anything coming in the intake and ruining the boat. So then we traveled along the Ottawa River for a few hours. We passed Montebello, a Fairmont hotel and a town there. And then we arrived here. And just before we arrived here, the sun came out. Today was a rather gloomy day. We had some rain, but it was nice to have the sun out. And when it did come out, we put the hot water heater on. So we've just each had a shower. So we're all fresh and ready for tomorrow and gonna settle in for the evening and uh, enjoy some quiet time here at this anchorage. So tomorrow we're heading over to Ottawa, the capital of Canada, and we know Ottawa very well. We used to live there and grew up there. So we're going to go up the flight locks. There's a series of eight locks at the beginning of the Rideau Canal, um, and that'll take us two or three hours to do that. So we're gonna head over there early in the morning and get ready on the blue line, ready to go up the flight locks. And we'll stop there for the night right downtown Ottawa. So looking forward to showing you that. Have a great evening.